his shoulder there he saw the yellow jersey was right at the front of the group and how his heart must have sank he knew he'd done his bit but Thomas had to finish four to lose the title Anderson came home for ten points Thomas came home for nine well, Anderson, many congratulations. You've won a whole lot more friends here tonight, and uh, I think you've proved a few points as well. Yeah, uh, I only won tonight because of the crowd and because of uh, one friend of the bunch, Alan Piper, my teammate. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice night for me. I couldn't uh, win overall, but uh, well, I didn't think I could uh, beat Phil in the sprint, so I had to go from uh, the gun and try and uh, win the stage. Gave me a couple of points, but not enough to win. When you went out on your own, what were your tactics? What were the thoughts in your mind? You, you knew that it all depended what, on what was happening in the bunch behind you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I could have tr uh, stayed in the bunch and tried to uh, fox fill. But uh, I thought it's a dangerous circuit. And I think uh, I could get better time out there. Um, you know, I was hoping uh, Phil would be beaten in the sprint by uh, Alan Piper or maybe some of the other riders. But, you know, it's a pity it wasn't so aggressive today. I must ask what a ride like that takes out of you. How do you feel now? Oh, well, it's quite a good day for me. I uh, don't feel too bad. <laughs> OK, let's bring in Phil Thomas. Phil, many congratulations, Kellogg's champion. Thank you, thank you. But uh, a bit of a tactical race. What were your thoughts when you saw Phil Anderson disappear into the distance um, there? Well, at the time when he actually broke away, I'd only just crossed the gap to that little break that was away with Phil. And um, I was having a bit of a bad time when he jumped. And I wasn't going as well tonight as I have gone in some of the previous races. And all in all, I was having a pretty hard time, you know, trying to control the bunch behind yeah. to make sure I could win enough points to take the overall victory. Yeah. Now, if I hadn't been with my teammates tonight, um, Sid Barris and Keith Lambert, I think probably Phil would have won the series overall as well. Right. There's been a bit of needle between the two of you through, throughout the series. What are your feelings about each other now? Well, obviously Phil's a world-class rider, which he's come to this series and he's proved he is. But I think also the British riders have proved in this series that at the type of racing that we do most often, we're as good as the world's best, probably. You'd agree with that? Well, we'll see next week. I've got the uh, World Championships. Uh, I uh, honour Phil as a great rider, and, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a few needles at the start of the series, but now, you know, we're good friends, and, uh, well, I hope to be back next year, and uh, maybe the battle will be on again. Good to hear that. Phil Thomas, Phil Anderson, many congratulations. Well, two friends at the end of five excellent Monday evenings of racing and Phil Thomas, the British road racing champion, is the overall winner of the series. And now we can see the result of this, the fifth and final stage. Phil Anderson gets ten points. Phil Thomas, a wonderful second place for nine. His faithful teammate, Sid Barras, also for England, gets eight and Alan Piper gets seven. Sid Barris on the roster with the flowers too for his third place shaking hand with Phil Anderson and there is the overall in the Kellogg City Centre Cycling Championship Phil Thomas the winner as the cheers go up with 37 points received his award and the silver sower from Chris McNaughton, Kellogg's GB Limited, the winner of the series, and as it turned out on the night, it all came right. So that's the end of a City Centre Championship, which I hope has shown you how exciting this sport of cycling can be. Certainly, the enormous crowds who have come onto the streets have been pretty excited about it. We'd like to thank the five cities around Britain who have each stayed ra races. We'd like to thank the riders for putting on such marvellous action. And we'd like to congratulate once again Phil Anderson on his King of the Sprints title and tonight's wonderful ride. And Phil Thomas, the Kellogg City Centre cycling champion. Goodbye from us all. <laughs>